the winning mob. Come on. Yes. Soon Come to on. join Minecraft, the winning mob for the 2023 Please. Minecraft Live mob vote Crab. is... Crab. Crab. The Armadillo. <laughs> no. How? How? It was the dog armor. You might as well just change the armadillo from the mob vote mob to just wolf armor. <laughs> if there was no wolf armor, we're getting the crab. Sorry, penguins. Hey, how's it going? Dan here and Minecraft Live 2023 happened yesterday. I didn't watch it live because I was putting my kids to bed. So I thought I'd just save it for now, react and just upload my reactions. I don't think there's a ton of content, but... There are some really big changes coming to Minecraft, and we're going to have a look at them right now. The first obvious one, which we've just kind of talked about, is the um, the Armadillo won the Minecraft mob vote. And I know people were so excited for the mob vote. Oh, what was happening here? I get it. It's disappointing when um, you can't get the mobs that you want in the game, because technically, the mobs that don't win in the mob vote should never be added because otherwise what's the point in the mob vote but i guess if you think about it i think they mentioned it in here somewhere i saw on twitter somewhere where they mentioned that they could add the mobs that lost at some point down the line because i'm really disappointed that we're not going to get the crab like ever so i think the crab claw was just the the best item but anyway the community voted for it Five million people voted in total, actually, which is insane. But let's change our perspective here. For the people that don't want the mob vote anymore, why don't we just change it to, here's three mobs that will be added to the game. Which one do you want first? Does, does, it, does it solve the issues? No, we'll still be mad. No, you're always going to have issues. Got it. <laughs> Some people just have way too much time to be negative. We get in the armadillo. That's that. The wolf armor is coming, which I know is secretly why you all wanted it. Hopefully it turns my wolf into a beast. If not, come crying back to me wanting the crab back because I know it's going to happen. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I've seen some crazy stuff about this mob vote online and it ain't that deep. This is a, a game that we paid for. I paid for this like 11 years ago and we're still getting free updates. I can't really complain, even though I make a joke out of it. Anyway, new Minecraft content. Let's get to that. <laughs> what is happening? Where is the Minecraft content? So I see Agnes. Minecraft Live. That means Minecraft we update. So we are adding a new big multiple room structure called Ooh. the trial chambers let's see what they look like lovely i'm seeing a, a new block behind update. looks it's like some kind of copper really light add new adventures for our more combat new adventures place. let's and go the... i'm excited for this i did not expect this to be added okay we needed more exploration looking Ooh. at here in the oh this looks good wait is the corridor the corridor well, there's the pots. I did see stuff about the pots. The corridor leads to different rooms, and it can lead to supply chests. No you can way. Find things that'll challenge. We got you, traps, but also things that'll help you. I see like copper flooring as well. They are combined of lots of different rooms. They are procedurally generated. Procedurally so generated too. Variation and like it's so fun because each time we play tested, it felt like finding a new chamber. It was exciting. This is time. great. Yeah, that's when a new flooring. I like that flooring a lot. Chambers, Very industrial. You know, full new decorative blocks. New decorative blocks. Yeah, I think the tough blocks that will be a lot of fun to build oh, with because tough? of its geometrical design. No, that's nice. And copper gets more uses too. With the copper set, we want to introduce a tinkered kind of feel, and the new copper bulbs give players copper a fun bulbs. way to light up their builds. Yeah, they're we nice. Used some of them in our village, and it created such a no. They look great. Feeling. There's another like copper block I'm down there, right? I'm so excited to see what people build. I've really played blocks. much with copper, to be honest. That looks really I'm nice, though. I'm just gonna take a couple of these grates. Yep, grates. So Great. they're new as well. So it looks kind of like a stronghold. These look very strongholdy so i'm guessing they're i think they said the underground there's a main chamber and then they're procedurally generated anyway with loot chests anything else i was looking dark oh here is oh, here's a chest what's in there is a different is that a different bulb as well about hi brandon hey, yeah Agnes. look they're changing so nice. brightness you're making it brighter in here yeah, these copper bulbs, when they get oxidized, they get quite dim. But with this axe, I can actually scrape off the oxidation and make it brighter again. Oh, I like that. I love that mechanic so much that like the more. So you can make a hallway really dimly lit, add some vibes. That's a cool addition. I like that one. Oh, I'm hearing 
I'm here, music. Trial spawner, time for a combat challenge. Trial Yay. spawner. Okay, I see Ooh. ice blocks around the trial spawner, so it's definitely spawning strays. Oh. What's our plan? Well, I will. So depending on the block that's around the spawner, so he's got, he said there's ice, so the strays are gonna come out of this one. The spawner looks really nice as well, the orange highlights from the copper. Around the trial spawner, so it's definitely spawning strays. So there's new spawners. What's our plan? Well, I will go ahead and scrape up some oxidation so we can see. I'll Good just idea. head in straight for the fight. You ready? You got no armor. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like the spawning Let's animation go. too. Look at that. Oh, oh no, so many strays. I'll take this one. Take the spawner out. Maybe you can't. Let's see. Oh. Yay! Whoa! Victory. We got emeralds and diamonds. So this is a trial spawner. It's actually a new variant of spawners, which adapts based on the amount of players that join the fight. Oh, no way. It actually spawns a limited amount of mobs compared to a normal spawner. Yeah, we really wanted this to be a fun I challenge. I like that. Both. So it spawns depending on how many players are there. So more players, more mobs. And the spawner ends, like it peters out. So it goes from orange to just black and smoky. And it gives out emeralds and diamonds, which is cool. Because it means you just don't have, you have another way to get those two materials. That's cool. So you can see the smoke coming out of the trial spawner. That actually means that it's on cooldown. So we can come back later and play this all again. Oh, it's a cooldown. Yes, yeah, so even don't break it. better. We want everyone on our realm to play the combat challenge. So you can come back and farm it, basically. It'd be interesting to see if you get more rewards as well. I'm guessing so. That's that's nice too. Hi. Oh wait. It seems like you placed a crafter here. Crafter. What's yes. this? With a crafter, you can automate crafting with redstone. What? Hold on a second, you have to say that again. With a crafter, you can automate crafting with redstone. Unreal. It's pretty similar to a crafting table, except instead of pulling the item out yourself, you can use the redstone pulls to get it out. I oh my god. crafter make hanging signs. Everyone can oh, here decorate we go. the village with them. So making hanging signs. So you put the recipe in, press the button. And I'll press the button. And it makes it for you. Yay, lots of hanging signs. So that's obviously not the way you're supposed to use it. But then how do you automate that? You keep the items in there and then just keep pushing the items in. And then if you pulse it, you can pop it out into another hopper. This is a crazy block. That's nuts. <laughs> they just skipped over that so fast. That's one of the best additions for a while. An auto crafter, that's gonna make some crazy machines. Cause you could just like chain them up as well. You can have one that makes like ingots out of nuggets and then Use the, the the ingots to make something else. Hoppers plus that and a redstone pulse. We can make so much stuff now. That's a great addition. Holy. I've been building an automated sword crafter. Oh, here you but go. But instead of pressing a button, it just keeps on crafting infinitely. Show me how it works. We used the new toggleable slots to make sure that the hoppers place items where we want them. Oh, yeah, here you go. Oh, you disable the slots. So they want to make swords here. Okay, do you have to time the materials then? Depending on where you want the hopper to place it in. You can't just like put a blueprint for an item and then have it work that way. You'd have to have the hoppers time when they put the items in, I guess. That's a really cool block to add, I like that. Okay, they're going back to the trial chambers. There's gotta be something else in here. Ready to fight the breeze? The oh, breeze! Yes. I've just realized, by the way, I've just repeated everything that was on the, in the title just by going, the breeze, the crafter. I get it. <laughs> So I'll the breeze is new. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's like a genie. A playful, hostile mob that jumps around and uses wind to provide a combat encounter unlike any other in Minecraft. Oh yeah. Does it I do just got hit oh. by a wind charge? A burst of energy from the breeze. The wind charge doesn't deal any damage when it bursts and blows things away, but it does deal damage when it collides directly with something. Okay. It damaged me. He'll be fine. Corey. <laughs> The wind burst doesn't only knock things back. It also interacts with certain blocks. Yeah, like buttons oh. and trackers. Oh, that's really cool. The room becomes part of the fight. We oh, so it can blow the interactable stuff open. So it blows open trap doors. I'm guessing doors as well. It pushes levers, maybe buttons too. So he said it blows wind in the vicinity of where it lands. But if, you, if it hits you directly, it does damage. 
I hope you enjoy these playful it's like a Beyblade with the as a mom. When you stumble across them in the new trial chambers. It's grumpy and cute, but also real rude. I'm heading out now. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we got the crafter, the trial chambers, new blocks, including like new copper blocks, new tough blocks, and then a new mob as well on top of the armadillo. I feel like they could really expand these trial chambers too. Imagine getting like a super rare trial chamber where there's, I don't know, a warden at the end. I, I know that wouldn't make sense, but maybe like a more aggressive mob at the end that feels pretty expandable in future updates i am i'm looking forward to was it 1.21 so the features we've shown today will come to betas previews and snapshots in the coming weeks nice so like last time you can play with this stuff in the snapshots it looks pretty ready like they it looks like they played that fairly legit in the gameplay so we can play this soon. And then, just like last year, we will announce some more features throughout the and development more features process. on top of that. That's okay. amazing. So even just that chunk of stuff, I feel like is enough for a 1.21 update, to be honest. But sounds like they want to add some more stuff too. That's fine with me. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but that feels like kind of a W. What am I most excited for? I think the trial chambers, because especially because there's going to be able to spawn more than one in a world. And then you can repeat them as well. I love that because I feel like Minecraft needed more of that. New mobs as well. I feel like the trial chambers are a way to add more aggressive mobs that are unique to the trial chambers. The new mob is really, really cool. Auto crafting, amazing. Armadillo, I'm on the fence. <laughs> I may have posted a tweet that I'm going to sacrifice for. I'm sorry. And then there's more features planned for 1.21 as well, which is crazy. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let's be kind, nice, less negative. For sure, crit critique stuff. But let's just not <laughs> blindly be like, stop the mob vote. It's horrendous. Let's just all calm down. Subscribe if you're brand new. Like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. See ya.